Hello. Welcome to this foretaste of a time when people of every nation, tribe, and language will stand before God's throne declaring Jesus is Lord. God invites us into his healing presence with these words from Exodus 15 verse 26. I am the Lord who heals you. Diseased, depressed, dysfunctional, defeated, we come hungering for health that only God can provide. God calls us to bring open eyes, hearing ears, and tender hearts turned toward him, the great physician. Let's come before him now in faith and anticipation. Let's sing. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. O oh, my soul, praise Him, for He is your health and salvation. Come all who hear, now to His temple draw near. Join me in glad adoration. The Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. Oh, my soul, praise Him, for He is your health and salvation. Come all who hear, now to His temple draw near. Join me in glad adoration. Praise Above all things so wondrously reigning Sheltering you under his wings And so gently sustaining Have you not seen All that is needful has been Sent by his gracious ordaining Praise the Lord and breath come now with praises before him let the amen sound from his people again let the amen sound from his people again let the amen sound from his people again gladly forever Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, you are glorious. We come before you only because of Christ's righteousness and his completed work on the cross, announcing that you are God and we are not. Thank you for redeeming us 
from slavery to sin, bondage and fear, so that we could embrace Jesus, the embodiment of everlasting life, freedom, and confidence. Lord, may you guide us as we live and gather now in worship for you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. What is our hope in life and death? Christ alone, Christ alone. What is our only confidence? That our souls to Him belong. Who holds our days within His hand? What comes apart from His command? And what will keep us till the end? The love of Christ in which we stand. Oh, sing hallelujah, our hope springs eternal. Oh, sing hallelujah, now and ever we confess Christ our hope in life. troubled soul. God is good. God is good. Where is his grace and goodness known? In our great Redeemer's blood, who holds our faith when fears arise, who stands above the stormy trial, who sends the waves that bring us nigh unto the shore. broken 
And great are you, Lord. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise. We pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise to you only. You give life, you are love, you bring light to the darkness. You give hope, you restore every heart that is broken. And great are you, Lord. It's your breath. In our lungs, so we pour out our praise, we pour out our praise, it's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out our praise to you only, it's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out our praise, we pour out our praise, it's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise to you only. And all the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry, these bones will sing. Great are you, Lord. And all the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry, these bones will sing. Great are you. Shout your praise, our hearts will cry, these bones will sing. Great are you, Lord. It's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out our praise, we pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise to you only. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise. We pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise to you only. Great are you. Let us pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can gather together this morning to praise and glorify you. Lord, we thank you that each day, each moment you give us, we can see your great love revealed to us. We see how manifold are your works. In wisdom have you made them all. The earth is full of your creation. We also see your greatest love to us in your Son, Jesus, who gave his life for us on the cross so that we could find forgiveness and eternal life in you. And again, we see your love through the Holy Spirit who helps us in our weakness for we do not know what to pray for as we ought. 
but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. With this unbelievable evidence of our love for, or your love for us, you still constantly encourage us to call upon you and you will answer us and show us great and mighty things we do not understand. Lord, as you give us direction, taking us through this COVID situation, we pray that you will reveal your truth to us as we read your word and hear your teaching through your servant, Pastor Tony. Thank you, Lord, that at nighttime we can lie down in peace and sleep, knowing that we are cared for by one whose eyes never close. In your precious name we pray, amen. amen. Psalm 4. To the choir master with stringed instruments, a psalm of David. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You have given me relief when I was in distress. Be gracious to me and hear my prayer. O oh, men, how long shall my honor be turned into shame? How long will you love vain words and seek after lies? But know that the Lord has set apart the godly for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. Be angry and do not sin. Ponder in your own hearts on your beds and be silent. Offer right sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, who will show us some good? Lift up the light of your face upon us, O Lord. You have put more joy in my heart than they have when their grain and wine abound. In peace I will both lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Psalm 4, the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. 